What does it mean to be the best? Today we'll be able to answer that because we're spending 16 hours in what is widely considered the world's best business class. Qatar Airways Q Suites. We'll experience spacious seating, expensive amenities, fine dining, and a double bed at 30,000 feet in the air. So without wasting any more of your time, Let's get started. Our journey today begins in Doha's Hamad International Airport, where we'll be flying quite a long ways to LAX. We begin with a visit to the Al Mojan Business Class Lounge, which is no doubt one of the world's best business class lounges, but it is nothing in comparison to the Al Safwa First Class Lounge that I had the pleasure of visiting just a few weeks ago. Now, as we walk over to our aircraft, let's take a look at the seat map, because this is very important. Seats in Q Suites alternate between forward-facing and rear-facing, forward-facing ones being closer to the aisle, and rear-facing ones being closer to the window and middle. If you want to make your double bed in the sky, you will need to choose one of the rear facing middle seats, which of course was our pick. Now these seats, if you can even call them that, are phenomenally designed and expertly maintained. The middle seats do have a privacy divider, but this can be lowered after takeoff. To our front, we'll find a plethora of seat controls as well as all the power connectivity that we can need. And on top of this, we'll find our faux marble tabletop. I feel fancy now. Before continuing on with the seat tour, let me tell you about how I booked our tickets. Now the cash price for this ticket is woohoo! Yeah, we're not paying that. Our tickets were 80,000 British Airways Avios each, plus a bit in taxes and fees. It just goes to show earning the right miles can reduce your travel costs significantly. And if you're wanting to earn as many miles as possible, today's video sponsor, Kudos, will be able to help you with that. If you shop online, you probably use an app to help you find the best coupons. And now you can use Kudos to get the most credit card rewards. Kudos is a completely free shopping extension that not only helps you pick the best credit card to use at checkout, but also doubles your credit card rewards at over over 15,000 merchants. Let's say you're online renting a car through Hertz and your credit card earns 3% back. Kudos Boost will double that and now you'll earn effectively 6% back. In my opinion, the best thing about Kudos is how easy it is to use. You can add Kudos to your iPhone or desktop in just a few clicks. Then you shop like normal and it will automatically appear at checkout to handle the rest. This is really a no-brainer. In fact, Kudos has saved the average user over $750 per year, which is like earning an extra round-trip flight to Europe. So don't wait. Use code SEAN to double your reward and get kudos for free today by going to joinkudos.com slash Sean. And for a limited time only, one person who signs up to kudos, which again is free, will win a $25 Amazon gift card. Just be sure to use joinkudos.com slash Sean so they know I sent you. Earn more by doubling your credit card rewards today with kudos. Now back to the seat tour. In addition to our soft blanket, we have a set of pajamas, which most business classes don't provide, but Q Suites is built different. We're also provided with a very high-end diptyque amenity kit. It's thoroughly stocked and the products in here would probably cost you a decent amount of money if you bought them yourself. We can store our plethora of amenities in the storage bin to our right, which also acts as an armrest by the way. Next to this, we find what might be the suite's most standout feature, the full shutting door. If you try to open this too early, it will just glide back open, but after takeoff, it shuts no problem. Looking at the IFE, there's a good selection of entertainment, and it is pretty responsive. There's also a few games on there, and Jessica and I enjoyed a few rounds of Angry Birds. As you can see, we're high society types. At this point, we were getting a bit tired from waking up at 2 in the morning, so we wanted to try out our double bed in the sky. Unfortunately though, there was a bit of a problem. There was a passenger snoring quite loudly. I'm not talking lightly either. I mean a real, just a huge, a total. Okay, I promise no more of that sound. There were even other passengers going up to the flight attendants complaining because it was that bad. As a temporary solution, we moved seats for a bit so we could enjoy breakfast in peace and quiet. Kind of. Now to this breakfast, all I gotta say is, Round of applause, A plus, loved it. And while the fresh fruit, pastry basket, and yogurt were all great, the real showstopper was the croissant bread pudding. This tasted like it was made fresh in a five-star restaurant. I could not get enough of it. If you're flying Q Suites, trust me, try the croissant bread pudding. I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope that the snoring is stopped now. But before we go back to our seat, let's check out the restroom, which is clean and well-stocked, but there's nothing all that unique about it. Although I do like the wirelessly flushing toilet. Thank God the snoring has stopped at least for a little bit so we can finally enjoy our double bed at 30,000 feet. And I gotta say that yes, this is indeed worth the hype. They provide full bedding and it is so nice to have what is essentially your own private room. In my opinion, the only significant improvement that they can make would be providing a thicker mattress pad. And while the bedding is separated, they do put a pad in the middle so it actually is a double bed. We can see Jessica getting quite cozy here. This was her first long haul business class, so she was very excited. The foot cubby is generously sized, so that is great. So with that, it's finally time for us to to get some rest. Lights out.
we are awoken with very aesthetic purple cabin lighting. I appreciate this because it creates a much more relaxing atmosphere. Since we're now woken up, it is time for the main meal service. Just to be clear though, there is dine on demand and queue suites, so we could have eaten at any time we wanted. To start off, we order some drinks. Because this is the world's best business class, even for standard drinks like ginger ale and soda water, they use Fever Tree, which is basically the Rolls Royce of ginger ale. Now our appetizers are brought out. Jessica got the, uh, don't know, it looks like a big cheese ball? Someone want to let me know in the comments what that is? Uh, yeah, I, I don't remember. Well, I, on the other hand, got the Arabic meze, which was wonderful. And by the way, if you haven't noticed yet, yes, it is a candlelit meal. It's not a real candle. It's a fake candle, but still. After finishing our starters, let's have the mains. We both chose the vegan laksa, which was great because it definitely did not taste vegan. It tasted just so buttery and creamy. This was one of our favorite meals that we've ever had on a plane. But just for reference, I'm vegetarian, so I don't know how it compares to the other options on the menu. For dessert, we have the double chocolate tort. The chocolate here is definitely on the darker side if that's your thing. Personally, I wish I went for a second croissant bread pudding, but it was still good nonetheless. Finally, I finish everything off with a nice hot chocolate, and this is probably as good as you could expect a hot chocolate to get on a plane. I do think it would be better if the cookie they give you with it was a vanilla cookie. I think it would just be a bit better of a balance versus being overly chocolatey. As we begin our descent into Los Angeles, Jessica falls asleep yet again, and I get to watch two different angles of our approach via the outside cameras, which was pretty awesome, not gonna lie. So is it true that this is really the the world's best business class. I have to say, yes, it is. What makes Q Suites so good is not just the seat, just the food, just the bed, just the service. It's that all of those things are done so well. Sure, there are better seats like a and The Room, and airlines like Singapore Airlines give you the option to book the cook so you could argue the food is better, but Q Suites are really the best all in one package. I truly hope you've enjoyed this video. Please stay subscribed because I promise in future weeks, the videos are just gonna get better.